Hey, Animal City Movie Talk fans, I'm Ryan D, a.k.a. Ryan 680. And I'm Juan the Cook, Carreño. Juan the Cook, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is Animal City Movie Talk, guys. This is our review of Kingsman, the Golden Circle. Oh, I think you guys said the Golden Circle. Oh, the they kept saying oh like British. That. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go, go, <laughs> <laughs> Are you a gentleman? Oh, I'm, I'm doing no, the worst. I wish. No, I'm, I'm doing, <laughs> doing the worst Eng English accent. But luckily, they're back in the States in our country, guys. All right. Well... I did the worst British accent ever. All right, well, get us started, man. What do you think of the film? Oh, dude, I, I really liked it. I think it was really great. Uh, I think it was really, 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 really... There's no else to say. It's just a really great sequel. Okay. It was just yeah. really amazing. It was worth a t three years, two-year wait. came out in 2014, so yeah, two, two three-year wait. Um, a little bit too much CGI in the beginning. Yes. But yes, I think gradually agreed. it yeah, started. It, yeah. In, in the very beginning, it kept annoying me like throughout the whole film. Just, I mean, I mean, honestly, like the, the very, the very beginning, you know, the CGI is not as great. It's weird. Cause it feels like the beginning of the film, the CGI was bad, but then in the end it just got better. I yeah. Know, I, I, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Like it kind of like also kind of just reminded me of like Spy Kids 3D. Remember uh, that? How terrible that CGI yeah. looked? Yeah. That's what it kind of looked like. It's like, okay, <laughs> yeah. we're overdoing it now. You know, but other than that, I thought it was great. You know, I, I still don't know why they used Channing Tatum in the entire movie. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why are you Celebrity, this? celebrity. Yeah, I know. And so, I mean, other than that, you know, I gave it 9 out of 10 jalapenos. It was oh, pretty good. Oh, wow. 9 out of 10. Okay. <laughs> yeah, other than the CGI. and Okay. You know, I, I think the Kingsman and the Statesman could have had a, a cool little backstory of how they started. Yeah, yeah, I, I completely agree. I mean, we come into this era of where Matthew Vaughn, I mean, this is Matthew Vaughn's world. This is his creation. I mean, it's just really incredible how Matthew Vaughn wrote and directed, you know, uh, the first one and the second one. Now, with the first one, we, I mean, honestly, I did not see the first one, guys, until recently. This past weekend, I saw the first one, and it was it was not bad at all. Like, I, I really did enjoy that film. I, you know, So I, you don't like, so you liked uh, Samuel Jackson's lip? <laughs> yeah, that that was kind of a it was kind of annoying, but honestly, the creativity, the end of the first one, which you know maybe we'll and maybe one of these days we'll do a review of that one, but I mean coming off coming off of of that film, the first one, this one just brings it up to another level and it brings up so much more creation, so much worlds. So now that not only was is there Kingsman in you know originally in London. Now there's Statesman, which is here in the states, which yeah. is awesome. You know, creates so many backstories, so many worlds that you could now. Uh, you know, maybe we'll see a third movie with this. The honestly, yeah, honestly, it depends how good it how good it does in this uh, this weekend's box office. But I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they want to continue it as a trilogy. Now with Matthew Vaughn writing and directing it, I don't know if he's gonna uh, write and direct it as, as you know the same. Now for you, for a lot of fans that uh, moviegoers that do not know, this is you know the Kingsman. This is a sequel to the original Kingsman, the Secret the Secret Service. This is a secret organization in London. But now that, uh, I mean, we've seen all the trailers. Now that London's been compromised pretty much. Their whole London, uh, Kingsman's been compromised. That's like London is yeah. falling. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You they, can't they... save the world every time, Gerard Butler, yeah. all right? <laughs> yeah, they go to the States. They come to the country, the U.S. of A., and, you know, we, uh, we have our own secret service just like them. And, you know, we combine forces and pretty much uh, take over the world. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Use one whiskey at a time. Yeah, there you go, man. Tequila. Tequila, yeah. <laughs> I'm aging tequila. That was, that was awesome. Okay. What do you think they needed, man? Um, the only thing I think they needed, like I said, was just a backstory of the Kingsmen and the yeah. Secret Service. And, you know, just how they kind of started each other. Who really started each other? Mm -hmm. Was it the Statesmen or the Kingsmen? Or does it go all the way back to King George? That yeah. would be kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. And then the, again, there were, um, I mean, they were mentioning something about the founders and stuff like that, which was pretty cool. So it's pretty neat. I mean, of backstory or future, whatever it leaves the case it open may be. Yeah, well, exactly, exactly. It leaves a cliffhanger. And um, yeah. So was this the film we deserved? I think it's the film we yeah. deserved. Most definitely, I totally agree with you, uh, Two One. I mean, this film was really good. I, I you know. Even those little cameos of certain celebrities we went out and mentioned, you have to go check it out, guys. Uh, I mean, honestly, the action, the action, the sequences were really good. Act one was, eh, it was kind of slow at the beginning. Honestly, yeah. I, it felt very slow, but I felt to heart because I just saw it this past weekend, and also because I fell in love with the character already, Exy. Mm -hmm. Exy, yeah, I fell in love with him as a character. As you know, not only did he, I mean, honestly, it was a plus that he dressed good too. Like, that, the suits are <laughs> dope, man. I love those suits. Like, if I could be thin enough to be in a suit, I'd wear a <laughs> suit all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I mean, honestly, he did not dress as good in this, in 
this one as he did in the last one. The last one he dressed up like nah, that. That was really good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I love the suits in the last one. You know, I had a buddy at my old job that used to tell me, "You'll never look good in a tailored suit unless you buy one." <laughs> and then after watching both the movies, I'm like, "Dang, he's right." Yep, you gotta buy a tailored <laughs> suit. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go. With, I'm gonna have to go to eight point five, man. 8. Yeah, eight point five. <laughs> I mean, honestly, too much CGI I, for you. <laughs> <laughs> I love the first ones. I mean, I I thought the first ones. Uh, I mean, you go to a lot of cases to where the original is always better than the first than the yeah. sequel. But I mean, to me, to you know, personal opinion, I think the first one's better than the second one. But overall, they're really good films. There's nothing terrible about either of them, honestly. There really isn't. I mean, besides little small little, eh, you know, eh, but it's all good. Every <laughs> film's gonna have that. Yeah, every every I film's think gonna have the that. Like yeah, uh, <laughs> but <laughs> it was, like, yeah, it was not terrible, guys. Please check it out. It's opening this coming Friday, uh, man. So you know, it's, it'll be definitely worth your money. Yeah, September twenty second. Uh, I would definitely recommend this film. Obviously, Movie Talk does recommend this film, guys. Average movie goers, please go check this out. <laughs> also, let us know in the comments down below, man. Let us know if you really did like this movie. Maybe you really didn't like it at maybe all. Maybe you think I'm crazy? Maybe? Yeah, maybe Maybe <laughs> you just hate hate our reviews. Let us know in the comments down below, man. Please let us know. I mean, every feedback uh, gives us, uh, you know, a going. <laughs> yeah, every every feedback just kind of helps us. Like, hey, get that fat kid off. I'm like, all right, bro. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Mike, they're talking about you. <laughs> uh, I know, right? Oh, man, Mike thought we replaced him with another fat guy. <laughs> uh, they replaced him and then replaced him on. Dang. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, well, as always, I'm your host, Ryan D, aka Ryan 680. And I'm one of the Cook Cranio. And this is Animal City Movie Talk, guys. Stay classy, San Diego. Nah, <laughs> you officially been reviewed. <laughs>